What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Resident Horror. And today I will be showing you two movies out of my horror vault that I think you would watch. But this is for a particular type of horror watcher. One that likes gore, over the top, bad acting, funny stuff, hilarious, and just bonkers type of stuff. Not to be taken seriously. But before we do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and that notification bell so you don't miss a video. It's free and it helps the channel. First movies, Demon, 1985 film, and Demons 2, 1986 film. Let's start off with Demon. This is directed by Lamberto Bava and Dario Argento. Argento is the man, I love his movies brings you the gonzo horror movie of the 1980s with demons, a frenzied slice of gore, heavy shock cinema that gives up on logic instead of sauce the senses and the screen with a riot of X-rated violence, face-chewing demons, and pounding heavy metal. That sums up demons pretty much to a T. But, so this story is about demon zombies, is what I'm gonna call them. It feels like a zombie film. It has zombie DNA running all through it and all down the screen and maybe out of the screen. But anyway, the story revolves around demons that utilize screens in order to come into this reality. And I think that is so cool. And you're also dealing with the black mirror aspect as well where all of us have some sort of screen in our house, whether it's a cell phone, TV, uh, pull down movie screen. It is a screen that can be utilized as a portal for demons. In this particular movie, they have a demon or a helper that goes around and gives out invitations in the city to a premiere of a horror movie. And while these people come to this horror movie, things that are happening in the screen are actually happening in real time outside of the screen, right? So, the, so while this show is going on, both worlds are starting to bend and blend into each other, enabling the demons to come out of the screen and infect people. Now, these are not some regular demons and stuff like that. These demons, if they scratch you, you're turned. If they bite you, you're turned. If the blood falls on you, you are turned. So this is some savagery. And these demons are, are not nice. They are savage demon zombies. I'm talking about ripping flesh, tearing intestines, eyes, listen, blood everywhere. But it's not realistic, okay? So that's what makes it um, bearable because it's over the top violence. You can tell it's fake, but it's so over the top. And this is why it's a gonzo film. And this is why this film may not be for everybody. So it covers the gore aspect to the T. It covers the demon zombies running wild and causing havoc. I really like that aspect of the demons coming into the world via the black mirror or the black screen because we all have one and that goes deep. But anyway, the acting is absolutely horrendous, especially if you're listening to the English track, which makes it so hilarious, so hilarious, man. You'll see if you check out Demons, man, it is hilarious to watch how bad the acting is, but it's overdone on purpose, and that's the charm of this film. So a quick synopsis of the story is, demons are coming out of the screen infecting people and everybody is trying to escape so they can survive to see another day. It's an old goodie, right? it's a cult classic and I think you really should check out Demons. Now moving on to Demons 2. This one is only directed by, this one is only directed by Bava and not Argento and you can see where this film fell off in the second half compared to the first one. Now, let's go ahead and check this one out because I really like the beginning, the first half of this film actually more than the first one. Now, Unleashed Through the TV 
and bringing hell direct into your living rooms, resurrected out of the dark forbidding zone. The world's ugliest demons are causing carnage in an apartment block, eating the residents and spreading their deadly plague. Yes. So, as I just read, the other one was set in a movie theater. This is set in an apartment complex, which, you know, lends his hand to a fun zombie demon time because you have floors, you have elevators and so forth. How did they execute this? There's a birthday party going on in this and a lady, a girl is just, so there's a birthday party, a girl is having a birthday party and she goes into her bedroom and while she's getting ready, she sees a horror movie that's playing on the television and like the other one prior, it draws her in and it starts to blend the worlds and the demon then comes out of the TV, infects her and all hell and all carnage breaks loose and this had such a dark tone in the beginning more so than the first one i love the way the second one had that tone where you see different people in different apartment rooms doing different things and phones uh shutting off tv shutting off seeing static and all and all of that type of stuff i really like the way this film was filmed in the first half they nailed it with the soundtrack. They nailed it with the overtone and the vibe was real dark. Darker than the other one. I really like that. The way that the TV was the same thing in other apartments as well. When the static was there and things were going on, everybody else saw that. Somebody taking a picture and it wouldn't snap and you saw that happening on the horror movie. So tying the two worlds together. The demon coming through the TV infecting the girl awesome stuff she goes zombie demon mad scratching and infecting everybody in that little room and then from that little room they spread out into the apartment complex causing havoc it is a fun watch in my opinion part two was not as good as a complete package as part one but part two had the better first half and the lesser second half part one was consistent all the way through um, so they both are enjoyable movies, but if I had to pick one over the other, it would be Demons, the original. But the first part of part two is so good. It's so good the way they set it up. But these are two films that, that I think you should check out if you are interested in gore, um, over the top stuff, bad acting, throw all your logic out of the window, sit back and watch a silly zombie demon film these two films right here will fill your stomach so i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button so you don't miss a video i will see you on the next live stream the next video whatever it may be peace and enjoy the rest of your day or night and you know what to do stay spooky